Hi, kids. It's Pastor Nelson. Glad to be with you today and share God's word with you, too. Everything is for you and for the adults, but, but this one's specially for you. I'm not sure how well you can see it on the screen, but I wonder if you have any idea what this is. Maybe you can say it to your family in the room, if you can tell. It's white. It's wearing a little pink bow. I'm not sure if they would usually do that at Jesus time. But it is not a polar bear. It's a lamb, a little lamb, a sheep. Because did you catch it? Today is Good Shepherd Sunday. And we hear that Jesus is our good shepherd and we are like the sheep that he takes care of. Do you have any idea what a shepherd does or what a shepherd did back in Jesus' time? Well, if you were listening to some of the other parts of the service, maybe you heard that a shepherd helps his sheep find nice green grass so that they can eat and they can be happy. A shepherd helps his sheep get to safe pastures. And if a wolf or a bear or some other animal comes, the shepherd takes care of them and defends them and, and even fights to make sure that they're protected. Jesus loves his sheep. And in that little picture he gives us of the shepherd and the sheep, he's the shepherd and we're the sheep. That means that Jesus loves you. Some of the ways that Jesus is like a sheep is that Jesus talks to us and we hear his voice. And we know what that voice sounds like. Do you know where you hear Jesus' voice? It's in his word. It's in the Bible. And when we hear what Jesus says in the Bible, we know that is my God, that's my Savior, that's my Good Shepherd. We know his voice, and you know what? He knows you. He knows your name. He knows that you are going to be with him in heaven because he's opened the door to heaven for you. Because the Good Shepherd died to wash away all of your sins and to bring you into his heaven. Let's say a prayer about that. Dear Jesus, Good Shepherd of the Sheep, Thank you for watching over us and taking care of us. Let us keep on hearing your word and hearing your voice.